So we have already drawn hearts with glue and we've let it dry. Well now we are going to paint these hearts with some watercolor. Each heart is going to look different and we are going to use the color wheel to help us decide how to paint them. So that's what it looks like up close. I have zigzag lines on that heart and then this heart has dots and then horizontal lines in the background. Okay, so looking at my color wheel, there are warm colors, which is this side, so reds, orange, yellows, and then there's cold or cool colors. I'm going to start with a warm color. You may choose any warm color, and we're going to use warm colors to paint our heart. So I'm looking at my paint tray and I notice there's red, pink, yellow, orange, and then that kind of golden color. Those are all warm colors. You may use any of the warm colors on your heart. So I'm starting with pink and then I'm going to just paint. But the most important thing is that I'm only using the warm colors. If I choose to change to a different warm color, just make sure to clean your brush first and then grab your warm color. All right, I'm gonna fast forward as I continue painting with my warm colors. For a cool effect, while my painting is still wet, I'm dabbing some pink little dots and they're going to spread into the color that's already on my paper. You could choose to do this or you could do a different design. Ooh, nice warm colors. Okay, now let's do some cool or cold colors. So I'm going to look at my color wheel, then look, I have greens, blues, purple, and then that lime green. Those are all cool colors. So we're going to use any of those for this part. I'm starting with my brightest or lightest color, which is the lime green. And see how I'm painting the glue that's there is resisting the paint? That's because they don't really get along. They do not mix. But my paints sure do mix, so I can kind of mix them together on my paper. I never want to mix in my paint palette. So when I change colors, make sure to clean your brush, then grab your new color. All right, so I'm just using cool colors to paint this heart. It's neat as you're painting, you can see where the glue is. You can make your heart look however you want, but the most important is that one of your hearts uses only warm colors, and then your other heart only uses cool or cold colors. Oh yeah, there they are, side by side, nice and beautiful. We will let them dry, and then the next day, we're going to use a thin little Sharpie and see where the glue lines are. We're actually going to outline those glue lines. So with my thin Sharpie, I'm just going to go around where the glue has dried. It's kind of created these lines because it resisted the paint because the glue is dry. So I'm just going to outline that. See how I'm doing that? All right, I'm gonna fast forward so that you can see what I'm doing.
Then you will repeat this same process for your other heart. And voila, there they are, your hearts using warm colors and cool colors.